In previous video, we got to know about shear reinforcement and functions of purpose of providing shear reinforcement in RCC structures. Now let us see the minimum shear reinforcement, maximum spacing of stirrups as per IS 456-2000 code and how to calculate the spacing of shear reinforcement with an example. First is spacing of shear reinforcement by using minimum shear reinforcement formula which is given in IS-456 of class 26.5.1.6. Here, minimum shear reinforcement in the form of stirrups shall be provided such that the ratio of ASV by B into SV should be greater than or equal to 0.4 divided by 0.87 FYA. By using this minimum shear reinforcement formula, the spacing SV here, we will find this spacing of stirrups. Here, the ASV is total cross-sectional area of stirrup legs. SV is spacing of stirrups along the length of the member. And B is width of the beam. FI is characteristic strength of the stirrups. And where the maximum shear stress calculated is less than the half permissible value and in the members of minor structural importance such as linters, this provision need not be compared with. It means if maximum shear stress, that is tau V, which is less than 0.5 times, that is half permissible value, tau C, then no need to provide shear reinforcement in the case of minor structure elements such as lintel beams. Now by using this formula, we will find the spacing of stirrup SV. If we consider 8 mm diameter two-legged vertical stirrups, then area of stirrups will be 100.53 mm square. And if we consider grade of steel has 415 then fi is 415 per mm square then by using this formula the minimum shear reinforcement formula the minimum spacing sv we will get it as 453.7 mm next spacing of shear reinforcement can also be calculated by using strength of shear reinforcement that is balance shear vus which is given in is 456 of 2000 of class 40.4 for vertical stirrups, the formula is the balance shear VUS which is equal to 0.87 FY ASV into D divided by SV. For inclined stirrups, a series of bent up bars formula is in this way and for single bar or single group of parallel bars, the formula is in this way. Here ASV is total cross-sectional area of stirrup legs, SV is spacing of the stirrups, tau V is nominal shear stress, tau C is design shear strength of concrete, B is width of the member that is a beam and Fi is characteristic strength of a stirrups we are using, the reinforcement. Next, alpha is the angle between the inclined stirrups and D is effective depth. If we take an example, design shear stress tau C which is given as 0.518 Newton per mm square, ultimate shear force VU which is given as 44.10 km and the balance shear that is VUS which is calculated by using this formula here, VU minus of tau C into B into D. Then balance shear will get it as 6804 Newton. Next, by assuming 8 mm diam, two legged vertical stirrups, the area of stirrups will get it as 100.53. Next, for vertical stirrups, by using this formula, the spacing of stirrups by substituting all the values will get it as 1920.44 mm. Next, for inclined stirrups, by using this formula, we will find the spacing SV. Here alpha is 45 degrees because the stirrups are inclined in case of inclined stirrups at the angle of 45 degrees. This is how we calculate the spacing of shear reinforcement by using the strength of shear reinforcement that is VUS value. Next is calculation of spacing of shear reinforcement using maximum spacing of shear reinforcement condition which is given in IS 456 of class 26.5.1.5. Here, the maximum spacing of shear reinforcement measured along the axis of member shall not exceed 0.75 D for vertical stirrups and D for inclined stirrups at 45 degree angle, where D is effective depth of the section under consideration. In no case shall the spacing exceed 300 mm. Let us take an example and we will see how to calculate the spacing. If the effective depth of the beam is considered as 360 mm, then for vertical stirrups, the spacing SV which is equal to by this condition 0.75 into D. Here D is effective depth. 
so 0.75 into 360 then we'll get 270 mm and one more condition here it is in no case the spacing shall not exist 300 mm so 270 and 300 therefore the maximum spacing will consider as 270 for this example next if you consider inclined steps the spacing sv which is equal to d here the condition which is 360 mm or 300 mm therefore for inclined steps the maximum spacing for this example is 300 mm this is how the maximum spacing and minimum spacing of shear reinforcement is calculated in the next coming video we will see how to calculate the spacing of stirrups by varying stirrup distance in the beam length please subscribe to civil today and like and share the video thank you for watching